Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna make a DIY industrial pipe shelf. I'm making this shelf on a half inch galvanized pipe. So let's take a look in the pieces we need. Four floor flanges. 10 90 degrees elbows. 60 connectors. 2 16 inches nipples. 6 4 inches nipples. 8 2 inches nipples. 8 1 inch nipples and 6 pipe cups I include all the links in the description box so let's put all the pieces together I started by connecting the 2 inches nipple to the flange which are going to extend the shelf away from the wall the pipes don't need to be tightly screwed together just securely connected there are many ways to make shelves with pipes by making them yourself you are able to customize them to your space and get precisely the look you want I gotta say that pipes are some of the most versatile things ever. After making the adjustment for having the two symmetric sides, I tightened them up with a vice grip wrench. I lay out the pipe on the floor to take some measurements. I measure the distance from the center of each pipe that holds the shelf, and the distance from the wall. I also measure how thick the boards need to be for having a tight fit. Then I continue by breaking down the lumber I'm gonna use for the shelf. The width is 15 cm which is 2 times the distance from the wall to the center of the pipe. Next I run the wood through the planer to get the final thickness. Then I clean up the edge with my jointer. For this shelf we are going to have two boards with the same size and a shorter one for the mirror. They are 8 cm longer than the measurement we took between the pipes. Next I start laying out where the holes need to go. I'm leaving 4 cm from each side of the boards. I continue drilling the holes using a 7 8 spade bit which is slightly wider than the pipe. I tested the shelves and noticed that I need to make a little bit of room for the flanges in the top board. I trace out the shape and use my rubber for making the ruises. Then I make a run over on the top side of each board. I send down the boards with a hundred grit sandpaper so they are ready to finish them off. For finishing I'm applying a coat of polyurethane primer on one side first. Flip it over and spray the other side. Next I use a high grit sandpaper to send between cuts. I clean them off with a rack and repeat the primer and sanding. Then I apply the polyurethane varnish so the boards will have a shiny finish. I use a black spray paint to spray all over the pipe. Just make sure to cover all the pipe in black for a consistent finish. Once the boards and pipe are dry, we can assemble the shelf. I put the boards through the pipes and screw the pipe caps to hold the boards in place. For installing the shelf to the wall, I screw one corner, then I get the shelf on level and screw the opposite corner. Then I drill pilot holes and secure the four flanges to the wall with screws. And that's it, we have built a beautiful pipe shelf. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project.